hello guys welcome back to droid crunch and in this video we're going to talk about how to wishlist your favorite posts how you can make a bookmarks page where users can actually bookmark their favorite posts and they can you know uh, access those posts anytime out of their profile their user dashboard like that so let's dive in to see how you can create that first of all let me show you the plugins that we are going to use to achieve the results so I'm going to use Elementor, Elementor Pro and Elementor Pro is used because we are going to use a single post type and it's only available in templates it's available in Elementor Pro and then we are making use of dynamic.triple-o that's the dynamic content alignment plugin which allows us to use the widget of add to favorites add to favorites of dynamic dot two okay so this is the widget that we are going to use in our video so this widget allows you to add you know cookies and sessions like that so that uh, the data is added to your user database like it, it's like a variable that is added and then based on that you can actually uh, fetch the posts or users in case your scope is users so let's see how you can make use of this widget okay so here on my dashboard let me show you my uh, single post template that's in save templates and here I have this single post template for my single post okay let me show this to you and here my post and let me show you one of my posts and here it is okay so here's the title let me show you from here and here's an image right centered and then some post metadata and then here's the post content and so yeah here we are going to use this widget called add to favorites if you haven't downloaded this plugin you can just check out the link in the description and you're going to get 10 percent of discount flat discount at any plan of time to do so you can actually start off with the personal plan with one website and then you can upgrade any time later or if you want to avoid the subscription based pricing then you can actually go with the lifetime plan if you have an agency or something if you want to design more websites using a dynamic content then you can go with the lifetime deal and get 10 percent off on that as well so let me just quickly show you how you can use it so as you drop the widget of add to favorites you find all the settings right there in the content and here you can just make it based on the user because we are gonna uh, add the content to the user database so let's just make it user scope to be user and then here you have to uh, give extra extend attention to this uh, favorite list and this key has to be very unique and you can keep it to anything in my case i'll keep it to default that's my underscore favorites and then this title is my favorites and add to title titles add to favorites for saving you time i will keep everything to default because these, these things are something that you can change by yourself if you give some time you can design it anything right so let me quickly firstly like keep it aligned to middle and you can color it, colorize it in anything but let me just save it to this okay and next thing i want to do is just add a new page from here and okay and limit like you can say bookmarks and let's save it okay i firstly save the page and then i publish sorry then i add the page with element or because sometimes it gives me an error and to avoid that error i just do that okay so let me just drop views widget here okay views is also widget by diamond to triple o 
it pulls out the content from your database and it makes it quite easy so we have to keep the object as posts because we are driving out the posts that are just saved by a user and you can choose a skin anything white and you can select whether it's this field text or template you can use template instead you can make a grid template or something out of your post meta content like post permalink post title post featured image and anything you can make us make use of those things and just create a template like that and then you can show it like that okay and in from you can keep it post and in where filter criteria here's the thing that you have to give extra extension okay so in field just make use of id and we're going to use this post id okay and then <coughs> we are going to use this operator and token make use of this, this dynamic dot triple loop token in value and just make it like user favorite it was my favorites right in the key so you, here you have to put the key that was there in your add to favorites widget so it was my favorites so keep it to that and looks good okay and then hit update button okay make sure you know the url of this page let's copy it down and here's my page we have logged in with an account so let me first go to the post any of this post like uh, let me see where my post so I don't have any archive page for post so it's a home page right so let's click on any post right there and then here's a button and here we can click on a button to favorite the post and it's like saved to my database user database that i've logged in with let's click on this bookmarks and here you can see it right you can see this u to animate minimum venium this post has been saved and it's showing me in my bookmarks when i go back and do the same post right when i reload it's like showing me remove from favorites i can change this text as well like from from here i can change all the text in settings right add text add remove remove text remove for favorites you can say favorite or say unfavorite as well and you can also use this heart icons right and in remove you can say heart broken icon right like that and looks quite impressive now and when i reload you can see this icon right here and when i remove this post what happens i get back to my bookmarks page and the post is gone which was favorited right so this works very well right so next thing that you have to do is just design this page your own way like it comprehends to the entire design of the website and the other thing you need to do is to create a template template for this bookmarks page like how the data will sh be shown when you post is favorited right what you can do you can just head over to this skin or say select area and just click on this template and create a new template okay and that's it for this video if you have any questions you can just go to comment section and and ask any questions that you want and i will be replying you within 24 hours and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new video that is being uploaded and if you're new on this channel please subscribe and bye bye have a wonderful day stay healthy stay blessed